central government is the biggest business in Britain. And in government, OR gets involved in just about everything that affects our day-to-day -day lives. Operational research plays a crucial role in improving the quality of decision making right the way through the system from senior decision makers in departments right the way up to the Prime Minister. To confront our problems. If you've ever interacted with schools, obviously you have, or with hospitals or with the transport system, you'll have had some benefit from the role OR has played in improving the way that those services are delivered. Travelling on motorways, how does the Department of Transport actually deploy its various emergency services? UK Borders Agency plays a role in actually modelling the number of people who arrive and leave the country. The Home Office, they do significant amounts of work on how we're trying to reduce crime across the country. Doing OR in the heart of government really gives you the opportunity to influence decision makers right at the very centre. It's a real buzz and a drive to actually be changing the way that we're delivering the things that we all live and breathe and interact with on a daily basis. This is St George's Hospital in London. Here, using OR techniques can literally be the difference between life and death. One of the really big things that hospitals have to think about is how long patients stay and so therefore how many beds and how many wards and how many doctors you have to look after them. It's really important for us to be able to get as far as we can the right capacity for the patients who are going to come through the door so that we can give them the treatment that they need when they need it. Patients, when they're referred by their GP, either into A&E or into outpatients, um, enter a series of queues and one of the things that we really have to do and we've been working very hard on is getting those queues as short as we can and making sure that we don't have bottlenecks in our system and so therefore we need queuing theory and operational research techniques to help us make sure that we can get that right.